it's worse in the digital world, I think. But people get so hung up on think, on the tech yeah, and the gear. It is and it isn't, though, because I feel like well, it's, it's not when you get a roll of film and all of those shots are awful. What made you want to shoot on film rather than digital? It all come around through... Um, well, at the time was BMX and skating and stuff, and then there's a few Instagram pages that I was following that were shooting film, and then it also goes hand in hand because I uh, was really into like like the rave scene and going to loads of events and stuff. A few Instagram pages that were shooting loads of film on that as well, and I think I was just like, yeah, I want to give this a go. It's pretty cool. Man, Do you have sense. a least favourite film stock, or would you say you've not branched too far out to find any of that shit? I don't think I've branched that far yeah. out. Only because it's expensive. Don't bother. It's expensive, and I yeah, don't right. want to risk spending like yeah. thirteen quid on a random film that's yeah. like. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm nicknaming it the Boss Man Files. Well, the idea is to go around every pivotal um, corner shop in my life or just in anyone's life. So a lot of the ones around where we're from Andover and just take a good portrait of the person behind the counter. The, 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 what's going on in the top half of that? So that one's got a funny story behind it. That was at some festival in London. That was actually t- taken on my second ever roll of film wow. on this camera. So it's the, the only photo that wasn't on this one. Hello, welcome to The Full Frame with Mark and Ben. I'm Mark, he's Ben, and this is The Full Frame with Mark and Ben. And we're, t- we're joined today by our first ever guest. Hello. Special, Hello. Very the special, special guest. The very special guest one you yeah. teased in the last episode. Yeah. Who was it you said that I was going to be? Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Steven Spielberg. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, how's it going? Good. Yeah, yeah, good. It was very surreal being here as well, being an really? avid fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So our much. first special guest and probably our biggest fan. Our biggest fan. Our first fan. I you just I wait. Watch. All of will listen to all of the podcasts at work. So yeah, nice. yeah, nice. Just get me appreciate you watching and listening to it. That's yeah, right. yeah, no worries. Cool, no worries. Should we get our other fan on as well in the future? Who's our if other you're fan? a fan and want to come on the show, <laughs> let us know in the comments. You need some merch as well. Yeah, Keep we did. The merch. In the pipeline, we said we'd get t-shirts at 100 subscribers, not to sell. Yeah, but we'd where? get t-shirts for us. We haven't even done that yet. Oh. So t-shirts. Sucking. T-shirts for the fans. There's got long, someone in this building way. that does T-shirts. So oh, really? I just need to talk yeah. to him. How, How do, do you know, know me? Ben? How do I know you? I know you through BMXing. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I've known of you for years. Oh, really? Years and years. Yeah. Through our good friend James. Yeah. Because as a kid, it was like friends of family and stuff. Yeah, we used to go yeah, for, yeah. for barbecues, and I was none the wiser at the time because I was a bit younger. <laughs> yeah. But James and Ben have been friends for so many years. But yeah, I was just yeah. a kid. And there's and stuff we, that's happened at like his family parties that yeah. we both remember. Yeah. So we were both there, but we didn't oh, right. know. Just didn't we, even, we didn't really know each other. No. Then. And then I think I knew your brother, who's like a year or two older. Yeah. Um, How I knew much him. How are you using Ben then? I'm 23. So it's like two years. Three. Three years. Three yeah. Four, yeah. But like when you're 16 and you're 13, you're not really going like, to talk to each other. No, you? probably not. I guess. Like, I think it was younger. I think I, I would have been like seven or so and you guys were like a bit older oh really what no no no, no, no you wouldn't have been seven no oh yeah because it was like secondary school when you first yeah met James I think. yeah anyway um, yeah yeah no no few years and then sort of just mostly based around yeah riding, basically just riding yeah. and just meeting each other at the skate park and then going nice. from there so yeah it's been great ever since isn't it? and then photography yeah. based stuff Photography yeah, let me get stuff. let me get the questions so ben, can, uh, we wrote we wrote these in the we wrote cars a few morning. questions Amazing. they're not like they're not difficult yeah no it's not like Mastermind. Uh, so how long have you been shooting for? How long have I been shooting for? I think it's around two and a half years. Okay. Mm, around there, two, Is that three years. Pretty much when you got that first camera. Pretty much that's where I got this and where I got my name from, Zuiko Files. Right, or yeah. Zuiko Files. I don't actually know how to say it myself, but I found this. Where did I find this? I think I just bought it off eBay, but yeah. it's an Olympus Zuiko. And then I just created an Instagram account with Zuko oh, nice. Files. Yeah, yeah. And just sort of stuff. I love that. It's such a I've good had name. like five cameras since because they oh, point, really? point and shoots always break. Yeah. yeah I was going to ask. It's not much. Is that, is that the same camera? Or is yeah, it? this is the same, the same camera, but it's broken oh, it's now. Broken, so yeah. unfortunately. So it just sits on my shelf. I didn't realise you'd had a few since then. Yeah, quite a few. So between. Just, just random point and shoots that I bought on eBay. And then oh, okay. I decided to buy this one. And this one's been the best one. Really? This was I bought in a shop in Brighton. It's a Canon Sure Shot 
one thirty U. I yeah. think it's one of like the um well, as like film was sort of getting phased out, it was yeah, one of the new like newer ones. Yeah, because yeah. I've always <laughs> said like it's so thin for um, yeah, it's tiny. Like it's literally the thickness of a film canister. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's amazing. But for everything that I do, like it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, and it, it works great. And I I pay the, a decent price for it. And the guy in, in the shop was really helpful, and he said, "Yes, yeah, it's probably like it's good for you." And it's lasted me like a year, I think, so far. And it's That's something fun. I was I was saying to Mark about when we were trying to come up with like questions I was like trying to stay away from like technical questions because something I've always admired about you yeah. is that you're not really into the technical well, side and I think that but I think that's a good thing because yeah. people get so photography is worse in the digital world I think but people get so hung up on I think, on the tech yeah, and the gear it is and it isn't though because I feel like well, it's, it's not when you get a roll of film and all of the shots are awful <laughs> yeah but sometimes it is just nice to pick a roll of film and just know you're going to be fine. And I've like I've stuck with a couple of different films that I know are sweet with that in the environments that I do shoot. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't really mess up. I mean, it's got a few settings on it, but I don't really mess around too much no. with um, like technical settings. Yeah. I, I feel like that's the step that I want to take next is get like a... What's the one that you've got? Oh. Like an SLR sort of... Yeah, is it the style. Canon D... What's it called? I've got a Nikon FE. Nikon FE, that's the one, yeah, sorry. Um, oh, yeah, like, if you want to step up to SLRs, I think the FE is absolutely the best yeah. one. I mean, well, you literally did come from not doing any photography. Yeah, it was great. And yeah. to an FE, and it's great, like, because cause it's got that auto mode, which is just aperture priority. You do have a bit of um, help in terms of the exposure. Like, you know, yeah. you know you're going to get something, you know, like, I mean... Both of our first rolls were fine, mm. I think. Yeah, I, 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 think I, I used gold, so it was a bit grainy because I shot it in like December and it was dark. I could imagine mm. like if you had... But that's just like you learn quickly. Yeah, imagine like if you had just started on the rolly. Yeah. You know, you're, it's, oh, likely, Christ, yeah. it's <laughs> likely your first roll would have just been blank because yeah. like that's that's a whole other ball game. Mm. Like, you, you know, you do need to understand a bit of like the exposure triangle and stuff. But... Um, but yeah, like I, like I was saying, I think I've always admired that about you is that you're not too bothered yeah. about the camera. You just want it to be reliable. Yeah, yeah pretty um, much. Like you want it to reliably take photos. And yeah. That's what it does. What made you want to shoot on film rather than digital? It all come around through, um, well, at the time was BMX and skating and stuff. And then there's a few Instagram pages that I was following that were shooting film. And then it also goes hand in hand because I uh, was really into like, like the rave scene and going to loads of events and stuff. A few Instagram pages that were shooting loads of film on that as well. And I think I was just like, yeah, I want to give this a go. It's pretty cool. So just jumped in it from there and tried to replicate what I was seeing from other people. So cause nice. I wasn't really like the, the look of film was just beautiful to me. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I wasn't too fussed about getting like a really perfect, like I think you must be res. like on the edge of, the age where film is still nostalgic yeah i think any younger and you just like film won't even be a thing yeah well the only nos- really, the like, only nostalgia i'd have was like looking through my nan's photo books of yeah. me as a child <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and that's some of most of my nostalgia is that i mean yeah. i remember using like um disposable cameras yeah and getting, big getting thing, the yeah. photos back in the sleeves and stuff but yeah like we've spoke about this before haven't we mm. like that yeah like you you are probably on the edge of that generation probably where yeah film isn't that nostalgic like we've but got you, a few other were, friends like, born as it was dying really yeah 2001 yeah. So yeah yeah pretty much yeah, yeah that's that's yeah that's pretty much it so yeah you were like you were probably in a lot of film photos but probably didn't take that no. many because by the time you were old enough to mess around with a camera you would have been that there would have been digital everywhere. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, it's um, coming back now, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. There's, what film? Yeah, there's a massive oh, yeah, flux yeah. on what's going on. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, look at us. Yeah, well, like, we <laughs> wouldn't be doing it unless. It was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we wouldn't be doing a digital one. No. Would we? Like, you know, I think film is what gives this its uniqueness. Yeah. You know? Um, I think that's why it's interesting. Yeah, I much prefer the film photography like community. I think there's like a level of skill behind it as well. Yeah, yeah. Because you I can think buy so. a really expensive digital camera and shoot, and yeah, all the photos would be great. Yeah, I, I always say but that I think film, like, if you're already a photographer and you have been a photographer, like I was when I got into film, yeah. like, film opens you up and. 
oh yeah, like, yeah teaches you to shoot in a different way and i've definitely found that it has helped my digital photography just to be a bit more like disciplined and yeah definitely just, you know you, you know you've got you can fall back on the millions of shots that you can take on an sd card but yeah pretty much you still have that sort of discipline where you know you don't really want to waste shots you know? yeah well do you guys ever actually like go out and take photos on a digital which is always use film now you we've both got work. only for work yeah i mean i do i do take like the zfc out um but it's more like i don't know it kind of acts as a backup really like mm. we were talking about this the other day weren't we like really we only use it the zfc is that camera up there we both we both have one it's like an old looking one. Oh, okay yeah the, one that's, that the one that's filming me now yeah yeah, yeah. um <laughs> but uh it's a really good like digital camera i just like the compactness and how it looks like yeah, it, looks it really literally cool. looks like my fe which is which is really cool i've taken it out once to like walk around taking photos and that mm. was over christmas where i don't think i have my tripod Mm. I, took, I went around like in the evening yeah that's when we said it's ideal is when if you need to shoot higher so and you know film yeah, doesn't, was like hand holding film doesn't really yeah. go past like 3200 unless you like push it so yeah that's when it's ideal is when it's dark and that's mainly when i use it is when it's dark yeah. and i use it to like experiment with like flash and stuff sometimes which yeah. i don't i don't I did that at, um ben's party do you remember those photos yeah, and all of the, the really the long exposures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, with the flash and yeah, that. Yeah, it looked that really cool, actually. Of, that was all of my ZFC. Oh, yeah, of course, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, the stuff like that's quite cool, like the experimental side of things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they come out really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, that would have been... How cool would have that been to shoot on film? Yeah. They would have come out really cool. But it's just... The stuff like that's well hard to, like, know how yeah, to come out. Yeah, you have got endless it, pockets of money either. As well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit experimental, so... Um, are you particularly fussy about the kind of film you shoot on or you just like buy it yeah that was one of the questions or? as well is yeah. like, what's your favourite film uh, my favourite film was Portra 160 yeah, yeah nice which is kind of strange because I'll do a lot of low light shooting mm -hmm. but everything's flash and the way it comes out is yeah just yeah. looks so like clear the yeah. grain on it's nice but I, I really like the bluey sort of tint that it, it brings out as yeah. well they like say um, it's good for skin tones, don't they? And I think yeah, brilliant. that paired with a flash is just going to get the best skin tones, isn't it? Like yeah. It's just going to be perfect. I, I, yeah, I bought a couple of portraits that were on 160 and they come out really clear. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. nice. That's, cool. that's mainly the one that I go for. It is more, more on the expensive side at the moment. Yeah. But um, no, nah, just uh, to be fair, it's I usually, I don't usually order film. If I'm in somewhere and they've got a shop, I'll go in and see what they got. Yeah, yeah. Try and get something sort of similar. But like Ultramax 400 yeah, it's nice. is great. And yeah, we always go about that. And like, even like even, I can even settle for Kodak Gold every now and then. Like mm. there's nothing wrong with it, I guess. Mm. It yeah, yeah. depends on what I am know I'm going to be shooting or so. Yeah, I mean, we've recently just been having a debate. It feels like every episode about like is Porsche still is it worth, worth it, it? yeah, yeah. The price just goes up and up but I mean it doesn't change yeah and then, you know you look at the what alternatives the alternative? yeah what are the alternatives well Ultra Max is a really good compare or really good alternative for Porsche 400 yeah I think and then I think gold is a good alternative to 160 um they are different but I like don't, I don't know the price is one, just well yeah the prices prices are great yeah gold obviously comes out a lot more like orangey and Mm. A bit, yeah, a bit more sunny. Especially if you're shooting inside, it's I not great. Five rolls of Pro Image 100 as well. That's so a good. That's good. that's a really good alternative. Yeah. I think you've shot. I think I might have given I, you a roll of that before. No, I haven't. I want to try really? it though. Yeah, I haven't had that it's one. Good. Yet. I think that's that is kind of similar to 160, but maybe a bit more contrasty. But yeah, that's a good film. I've always I bought a whole box of that, and I just used it in my portrait shoot. Mm. And it was perfect for the point of shoot. Yeah. I think I used it like throughout Hastings and that. Oh, cool. Last year. Nice. So. Do, do it all again this year as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the next one, I think, was do you ever shoot black and white? Do I ever shoot black and white? I've never shot a black and oh, right. white roll of really? film. Really? Yeah. Would you ever? Or it, it just doesn't really appeal to me too much. Yeah, yeah. But that may be because I haven't actually tried it. Yeah. It's just my naive way of thinking. Because I love colours and I love seeing the colours yeah. that come out. Yeah, and it's kind of like an unpredictable sort of like way of shooting. Even if it's like a random roll of film that I'm buying, like I'm not certain of what 
something's going to look like. So I think the the unpredictability of it makes it more exciting. And then I've just got this thing in my head with black and white as if it's just all going to be the same. Yeah. Which is probably really naive and wrong. But yeah, I think it, it does, black and white does force you to like look for things other than the colours mm. that's going to make it good. But then you'll come across something and you're like, this would be great because oh, of the colour. Kind of yeah. yeah, yeah. like we, we do that know, all yeah. the bloody time whenever we shoot black and white. It's like, oh, that would be a great photo if it had some colour in it. But yeah. Yeah, so I think black and white is hard no, to definitely. enjoy. Like there's people who only shoot black and white and they must literally just see the world differently because yeah. like, we are draw- so drawn to colour in things that yeah like it's hard it is hard to see um see things in a photo other than the color yeah, yeah right mm. i think there was, a, there was a walkie-talkie that i watched i can't remember the photographer it's a new york based street yeah, photographer yeah. but he only shoots in black and white yeah i think there's a couple there actually. are people that only do yeah. yeah yeah well there's a couple that have like switched over the years like they'll spend like two years just doing color yeah they'll spend another year doing black and white it's crazy like, i mean i couldn't i couldn't do I could barely do a roll. Yeah, <laughs> black and white. So like, yeah, he had a really good. Like just oh, let's get through it. And then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like and you just don't. I don't think you want that feeling. Like I don't think you ever want to feel like you can't get your camera out and take the photo. Yeah, you know? and I think that's why people do stick to color. Yeah, you I might be a bit more my, reserved. My photos of the month two of the three are black and white. Oh, that's <laughs> good. I suppose. Yeah, that's, yeah, good. yeah, that's like, good. It's good that you've got some. Look, that's the other thing as well. Like I know I've, I know I've gotten good photos from black and white before mm. so it's not like you know everything i shoot is just crap in black and white it's just i don't know getting over that hurdle in it to like yeah yeah to like yeah restrict yourself basically yeah yeah no, do you sense. have a least favorite film stock or would you say you've not branched too far out to find any of that shit i don't think i've branched that far <laughs> yeah. out only because it's expen- don't bother. it's expensive and <laughs> yeah, i don't right. want to risk spending like <laughs> yeah. 13 quid on a random film that's yeah. like yeah. Mm, yeah, could, we've could be awful. We've, we've definitely done a few. Yeah. Like, uh, what's the worst one we've done? What was yours? The the uh, washy audio. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that one I shot in Hastings? Oh, that, that was, weird. It was black that, and white one. Yeah, it was um, really thin. Made for audio recording or something. Yeah. And the 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 actual film was like completely clear. Yeah. So weird, and it was just it didn't. It didn't look like it had any grey in it. It, yeah, was, it was just black, black or, white. or white. Well, some of the shots actually come out quite cool. There were some cool but, ones. Yeah, I don't that. know if it was because of like memories or just the subject in the photo. Yeah, there, no, there were but, some cool ones. Yeah. But it's, I mean, like most of that role was just crap. Yeah, it was awful. Like, because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you needed in the lighting for it to come out well, but none of them really came out no, like, no. like a normal photo. Hey, Were the examples any good? Yeah, they, well, were, they just, were. Most of them just look like normal photos. Yeah, yeah so yeah. like that's probably people who know how to shoot it properly. Yeah, then. or like I, I wonder if you need to have very flat weather, right. you know, like hazy and like overcast or something, because it was super sunny, wasn't it, in Hastings? Yeah. And I think the harsh shadows caused that high contrastness to be even worse. Yeah. Um. So that's probably what it was. What was your worst? The film Never Die, uh, Kiro something. It was really, yeah, something 400. Like it was really grainy. Yeah. yeah. And I was, like, when I was shooting it, I was like, oh, this would be really good. And then it's just, uh, it's just yeah. it looks like yeah. it's from uh, They're like a little, so it, they're a bit of like an independent brand, I think, aren't they? It's probably just some expired something from like 50 years oh, ago. Oh, right, like respooled, yeah. yeah. I don't know, yeah, maybe. Did You said you shot some expired film the other day, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Have you got that Fuji. back yet? The Fuji, yeah, yeah. yeah the, that was um, the last video. The video has oh. just come out on it, yeah. Oh, that's you the only watch, one I haven't watched. Yeah. You said, <laughs> no, that is the only one I haven't watched. Isn't it saying that I did say I w- no, I did say I right. watched every videos. The only yeah, one joking. that I haven't watched is the most recent one. I just haven't had time to. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Been a That's very a busy boy. Though. Yeah, I mean, actually, um, expired film, from what I've learned, is completely fine. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> like, yeah. I think it would have to be stored so badly to for it to be fucked like yeah, yeah. Radiator or something yeah, yeah or much. like i don't know like water damaged or yeah. something like because yeah one of the ones i did was from 1999 and it was like totally fine jesus yeah. christ you just have to overexpose it yeah, yeah um and it was fine so and yours was all right as well yeah wasn't it? Mine was 2006 and it's fine yeah and that was color positive which yeah. is even probably more prone to 
going a bit funny, but yeah, might totally have a fine. whirl on that. Try to find some on eBay for yeah. Cheap. I would just yeah, yeah, yeah just I get mine. yeah. I would just get like a known brand, like a something yeah, just Kodak something expired basic, Kodak or something like that, and yeah, just see how it comes out. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. You just have to say um, to shoot it like a stop lower yeah. by SO. So if it's like a 200, shoot it at 100. Uh, for, for every 10 years, it's expired. Got yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it's 20 years, then shoot it at 50. Yeah, that makes sense. Project ideas. Have you, do you ever have, do you have any like ideas. project ideas? There was one that you told me that I think is really good. There is one should, that, yeah. I think you should say it. It's the only one, one that it. stuck in my mind, but I've, haven't got around to doing it i probably just laziness yeah but it's well i'm nicknaming it the boss man files well the idea is to go around every pivotal um corner shop in my life or just in anyone's life so a lot of the ones around where we're from andover and just take a good portrait of the person behind the counter yeah nice and do like a small write-up of it because they're like in the uk corner shops are so important because yeah, yeah. everyone everyone has a corner well most people have a corner shop just down the road that you're always going to yeah, pop yeah. to get something that they go or, to instead of the big and a lot shops. a lot of the time they like you know the people you've been there so many years yeah like the garage across my road of i've been there in the same house for 22 years now and i've been going over there to get sweets when i was like <laughs> 10 or so yeah and now they're watching me like fill up my car and stuff and yeah, buy yeah. beers pretty much so they yeah, know they know you then. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, of course. Yeah. like it, it's amazing. Been, been there so been many there. times yeah, over the years. That they've been there. Yeah, like same the people time. as well. Like, like, the yeah. whole time. Yeah. But I think it would be really cool just to sort of do like a little write up or like even like a zine or something. Mm. If I get like 20, 30 corner shops, and just take really a good. take That's a good like yeah, portrait of person by the counter. Could be actually brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> I've seen some like. Uh, film shots in them type of stores and it looks yeah. really cool yeah so I don't know that the m- colours in there would be really good as well yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of vibrancy going on yeah that would be really cool yeah so that that's something shall I create a like a end goal or something by the end of the year that needs to be done like a certain date that needs yeah, to be like, done I think, rushes, I, think yeah. I need to make it for myself because like yeah. I just procrastinate these things yeah I think you should totally do it because like when you first told me it, I was like fuck I'd love to do that yeah um, and I think that just says that you should do it yeah 100%. <laughs> you know and like you've got the boss man files is such a good name because it is everyone's just like it's the, guy, the guy behind the counter is boss man that's yeah. just what everyone says really yeah yeah oh cheers boss it is great I think the hardest bit will be going to the shops where you don't know the guys and yeah to get them because they're just gonna be like no yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly so I think yeah, how do you kind of pitch it? Because you are almost go, having that, to go this round. Is, this is banking on yeah. everyone's fine with their photo being yeah, taken exactly. as well. So once you get a few, though, you can show them and be like, oh, "Yeah, this is what yeah, I'm, doing. Maybe, I'm doing." Yeah, maybe. I think yeah, you'll have to you'll have to Start write up. You know you'll have to almost write up a little pitch. Yeah. that you go to them and say, "Look, I'm doing a project, a life photography project." Collect. I don't see why photos, not. You know? But yeah, like I think you will get a good amount that will say a lot yeah. of them. I think will be like well up for it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah just have to note down or even like get their name or something but I'm not sure but yeah. it's like even, even don't have to be around Andover like because I've be anywhere, been yeah. to millions of places always like visiting mates at uni and stuff and we're always going to their shops and things like that so yeah it's I mean there's endless corner shops that you could go to so I'm sure yeah. I'm sure you could get like 20 or so yeah it'd be, it could be just great couldn't it like every page just has their portrait it's got like you know their name how long they've run the shop yeah before, and then just i don't know like a bit about their life or something yeah like, something it could like just that be so it could be well interesting actually like on the face of it, it seems mundane but it's that well could interesting. be so <laughs> yeah. interesting once you get into it yeah that's cool are we doing photos of the month Should we do photos of the but month? you're doing yeah. photos of all time i'm doing photos of all time yeah. You've got, you got four, so do you want to go first? I've got, I've got, s- f- I've got six. Oh, six. I've yeah. got them on my phone, this, so, or you can just show them. I can show. pass you them. So I've got... Should we do all yours? And then we'll go... Or, I don't know how we yeah, do Yeah, let's this. do all the Charlie's. And yeah, we'll and then we'll do ours. Do yeah. your ones. Okay, all right. So I've got... Which ones do you want first? I've got scenic. The well, scenic top three. Let's go... Let's go so you've order. got two categories, haven't you? Yeah. So let's go number three for both categories. Number three for both categories. Right. So the scenic one... 
his um, recent trip, I went to Italy. Um, I've now forgotten the place where it's at, but I loved it because the the colours come out quite like light, like pastel. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, mm. that's what I was about to say. the The colours of the houses are very pastel, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, I thought it was quite cool. But um, yeah, I mean, that, there's nothing too much more to say about that. But I've forgotten. Yeah, that's. I wish simple. I could remember where it was now. It's just completely gone blank. Simple shot, but like, oh, it's such a it's good. Because it's so different such to a what good you're scene. seeing here. Yeah, well, yeah, just... yeah. The colours are so cool. I think it's Manarola. It's, there's like five coastal um, towns on yeah. the side of Italy near. Um, that are all like this near or? Pisa, where we went to, and they're yeah, they're all very similar to that. Right. You can get a train to like each of them. Yeah. And it takes like five minutes to get to each, and. Um, yeah, we just did a bit nice. of exploring. I took that and nice. that came up really, really nice. There's a bit of blue in the sky as yeah. well. It just looks yeah. like... But the, nice. the thing with the prints, the digitals, the ones on your phone or the JPEGs, whatever, they look a lot better. Oh, really? Yeah, they look really good. Next, uh, the next number music three. Related. Um, so that's a DJ called Chapo. He's got a bike on his arm. He does have a bike on his arm. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, was into BMX in. Yeah. And funny enough, has also got a Volkswagen Lupo tattooed on his stomach, <laughs> which was both of our first cars as well, nice. which is really sick. That's but cool. um, I don't know the the more I looked at it, I thought it was really it's really clear. Yeah, mm. I love the way that he's looking down. You can't really see his face, but there's a lot of like blue details in it, like on his shirt, his headphones, yeah, yeah, even little, on the decks as the well. The padding in the headphone is like. Yeah, you're right. The blue. They all sort of match, don't they? Just a cool little sort of detail, yeah. And I like how the flash has made all the white bits just pop out yeah. on the like dials and things. And the geezer in the background's like looking <laughs> yeah. demonic. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a bit red eyed in that. <laughs> My number two is another one from that same night. Yeah. And all of the shots that I took from that night, everyone looks really nicely tanned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. really tanned. tanned. And it, yeah, it just it looked good. Look good. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna do that number two. They're very, very close. So the yeah, the event one is um, a photo of an artist called Flo Dan, yeah. recently <laughs> Grammy <laughs> award winning. He's definitely which watching. Really cool. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations, Flo Dan. <laughs> Pretty much. He's probably watching. If, yeah. if you're watching, yeah. Flo Dan's definitely yeah, watching. Yeah, he did comment the other day. Actually, he's always watching. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's good lad. Good lad. <laughs> I, yeah, didn't didn't nice. well didn't get the chance to talk to him, but I just snapped the photo. Did he, he did repost it in a story, in the which did was he? cool. So he's seen it. He has seen it. That's good. Which I really liked. That but yeah, cool. he's yeah. There's someone. There's another photographer in the background. I've forgotten his name, but he um does a lot of videography. Okay, so you're cool. on the video then. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was doing the the vi- the video for the night. Nice. Probably yeah. somewhere. I haven't actually looked. Yeah. I really like the isolation. Yeah, that I'm guessing there was stuff behind him, but the flash doesn't reach it, so no, it just isolates. It's just completely him. blacked everything so out, cool. and then had them in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> so the scenic shot. The scenic shot. This is in Capri in Italy as well. Yeah, from another trip a few years back. A nice. few years back, um, but I, the colours on it just came out really, really nice. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think it's more just composition based that photo yeah from where i was it was like a big walk up to the top of the mountain you just look out <clears throat> onto all of these houses and everyone's got like a little farm as well and on the on the scan you can just zoom in forever and just have a look at nice. each of the houses and yeah what they got going on it's interesting it's actually even though it's like taken from a different angle like it's down yeah it's like a similar composition to the other one as well because yeah. it's got that light sort of cut out at the top and it's like blue top half. Yeah. And then, but this is like way more green, isn't it, on the bottom half? Yeah, yeah. It's really weird how, um, like, I don't know, the, the blue in the sea and the sky is like, almost blends into one. What do you think? Bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. Yeah. I was just about to say that, yeah. <laughs> Good Bloody and nice. Lovely. Right, I'm excited for this. For the, the top two. Yeah. Oh. It's like when I see yours, I'm like, fucking hell, if that's two and three, like, what's one going to be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I think you're gonna have one. One's a bit of a this month. Right. You're in one of them. Yeah, nice. <laughs> this is. Oh mate, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, Which one do you want to talk God. about first? 
Um, oh my, I don't know. Let's start with the. Yeah, the what's going on in the top half of that? So that one's got a funny story behind it. I was at some festival in London. That was actually t- taken on my second ever roll of film wow. on this camera. So it's the the only photo that wasn't on this one. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but I, because that's been taken, I look really high up. Mm-hmm. I'm not the tallest person in the world. It it was like very very crowded. Hmm. I got one of my mates to literally throw me in the air, so oh. I was basically <laughs> thrown in the air. Just yeah. snapped it at the time. Yeah, it blurred out the top half of all the lights. Yeah, yeah. and then focused in on all the crowd. Yeah, yeah. So really I think nice. it was a complete fluke. Well, yeah. So what's happened there is your flash has lit up the crowd. Yeah, and then that's that's burnt into the film as a solid picture. Yeah, but where these are so far back the flash isn't going to affect them. No. So that will, whatever exposure your camera's done, probably like half uh, a second or something, okay. that's going to show up as a... It's You know, so when I was doing the photos um, at Ben's party, yeah, the flash was making you look still, uh, still, and the yeah. desk and everything, and then the long exposure picks up the, the, the lights, lights and the movement. Yeah, that and that's, that's that's exactly what's happening there. Oh, there you go. Um, well, I was mid-air in that one then. It's so, so cool, it's though. It's such a cool it's, story as well yeah. behind it. It's like a perfect half and half, bottom half, you know. It is, it's like split nicely. Perfect, perfectly in focus and, and sharp. And then top half, you've got like a nice bit of motion blur. It's really It's quite cool. nice, like the different people, you can look at what the, the different people in the room as well. Yeah. When it's a crowd yeah. of people, you can start like look at the it different looks faces. Like the, it looks like the crowd goes on forever. Yeah. I l- love taking photos of crowds. I've yeah. got quite a few, because there's just so many... It's great capturing people's emotions and especially getting a good time in one yeah. in tune to the music. Yeah. So if like a massive drop happens, everyone's yeah, going yeah. nuts. If you snap it at the right time, mm. you've got so many different amazing emotions going on. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Funny, funny enough, someone actually commented on that and tagged the main guy in the middle. This ta- one? Tagged him and said, is this you? And then the guy replied, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I think that just shows like how small of a scene it is. Isn't yeah. It? If it's like a I think certain, if I like certain genre, I can't remember. I might have put the location on Instagram, yeah, okay, yeah, right. to find stuff, yeah, that. yeah, very nice. Right, should we go to the next one? This is just so cool, yeah. Where's this? This is Milford on Sea, oh, yeah, um, just past Lyndhurst, um, but yeah, it, I think the, 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 the clouds and the day would just made that so yeah, perfect, yeah. yeah. And as you look at it, it just looks like a painting. Yeah. It's it's zoom so zooming in on the scan, it li- literally just looks like a painting the way it, the way it's come up. I, mean, I, I don't really have too much to I know. say about it. It's, it's one just, of those ones where it's like there's nothing so simple. There's no real subject. Nothing to explain about it. It's yeah. just the sea and the sky. It's just the texture of it, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, clouds, and, uh, and the sea, to be honest. Yeah, so nice. And I love that there's a little island in the right in the middle just kind of yeah splits it doesn't it it's just like the perfect blend of colors going yeah through it yeah it's literally like a color spectrum of blue <laughs> mm. so sick i would if i had to order them i would put this right at the top right at the top definitely honestly that it, they really show like the versatility of those point and shoots like yeah because you would not know that yeah, all they're all yeah, taken it's on this little like camera, yeah, yeah, because they're so different. You know, the photos are so different. The best thing about this is that it's got the extendo, the mega zoom. <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a great photo of Charlie. It's brilliant. It's Hastings. massive. I, I said, I, I took it on my point of shoot. I said, extend it all the way, and he just held it up like that, and it's like pointing. Oh, nice. I've probably seen that. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a great photo. Like a right peeper. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right. We do ours. We do our. What's your number yes. three? Or should I do my number? Yeah, three? you do yours because I need to have a. I need to have another right. look. My number three is. Oh, I've got number three. Yeah. Trolley and the Solent. Oh bloody hell! That's trolley my and number. the Solent. That's my it's number the same three. Trolley. That's my number three. What, what, what did you shoot it on? What did I shoot? Well, you might as well show yours now as well because we've yeah, 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 yeah. the same trolley and the same Solent. Yeah. Nice. I like yours better. Fuck's sake. Well, I got a little Ooh, bit. Of lens. Yeah, I got a bit of lens flare, so I think that's cheating. But okay. Lens flare yeah, is nice. always going to be. Mine was on Harmon Phoenix. You can so tell that yeah. Harmon Phoenix. The softness is yeah. Yeah. Oh, so many of them like out of focus. 
It's like I said this the other I got day. Like didn't six I? that were in focus. I said the other day, Harmon Phoenix looks like it's, it's just out of, it's focus. out of focus. It's like doesn't matter how hard you focus, yeah, yeah. it just comes out out of focus. Um, this might have been Santa Color. Yes, I think it was. Santa yeah, Color, it was. Which is such a nice film. If you ever want to, I still quite like mine. Have another look. You as good as well. My one. If yeah. you ever want to try something else. Try Santa Color 100. You will not be disappointed. It's quite expensive as well, isn't it? So yeah, but the colours are wild. It. I don't actually know which one I like more. <sighs> They're pretty similar, aren't they? Really? <laughs> They're very similar. <laughs> but it's the same trolley. Like you know I, what? I was in front Different of you vibes, though. You got it as well. Yeah, it's interesting actually because we. Be in a future video. You were you were a bit ahead of me, and I did not know that you'd taken that. Yeah. And it's interesting that you took one. We took them at completely I got different one angles. An, I got one from another angle. Oh, as did well. you? So I only, I only took that angle. I can't even tell what angle that is because it's can't. a reflection. I think it was past it. So you're... I'm right over top. Right over the top of it. So I'd walked further down. I have one, ap- I have one approach in it as well. And looked back at it. Yeah, right. Um, this will be on the next video, I oh, think. Oh, no, I took one approach in it as well. I just didn't right. like it as much. This one was just a bit... Yeah, this one shows this one. A bit more interesting. Trolley yeah. and Solent. My two is a joint picture. Because it was taken moments apart. I see. So this was a Chelsea match. Mark, this is so weird because mine... It was also a Chelsea same. match. Yeah, mine was at a Chelsea <laughs> match, yeah. No, my top one and two are taken moments, moments apart. apart as well. They're okay. basically the same. Well, No, this is, this is counting as two. Number two. He's, He's throwing two, two photos. Two photos. See, He's cheating two. again. He did this last week. So... <laughs> <laughs> bastard, bastard. Uh, it's, I'm interested to see which one you like better. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's when Chelsea scored the winner... To make it three two against Newcastle, right? Um, Big and deal. then there's one where I sort of took it as I was celebrating, and it's a bit fuzzy. And a bit like, <laughs> nice, okay. that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. One later where it's a bit more lined up, and yeah, okay, you can see yeah. people are a bit more calmer and just sort of clapping yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah. I, I was sort of leaning over, just pressing buttons, and it's hoping still, it there's take. still enough detail to be able to yeah. tell what it is. So it's just, yeah. just right. I think you can see the stand and everything. That's a great example of black and white because I think that looks yeah. amazing so yeah I've got a I few mean, from that the thing match, is there so probably yeah. would be loads of colour in that but yeah. actually the black and white's probably made the blurry one better yeah because if it was black and white it'd be too much sorry if it was colour it'd be too much yeah true you know too much blur too much going on but the little bit of blur in black mm. and white my one and two are pretty similar so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle to pick which one I prefer hmm what do you think? Can you pick one for me? If you pick two for <laughs> me, which one would you do? Yeah, I know. But they're just quite similar, aren't they? So I don't that know. One. That's two or that's one. That's one. Yeah, okay. I was thinking that as well. Okay, so my number two is this. Okay. I think you might have oh, seen it. Oh, wow. Where's this? I really like it's that. It's Reading. Where can I? I need to go there. <laughs> it's the Oracle. You know, that's the, the Oracle. The main car park. Oh, right. yeah. we, we just walked out of the Oracle car park. We just parked up walking out of like away from the um the actual like shopping center bit it's like pissing down with rain i just see this door open mm. that's like i don't know from the outside you can't really tell that it's the car park but i just sort of get a peek in i'm like i think that's the the spiral going up put my head in i'm like oh wow oh my god like I've been, so cool. I, yeah, I've been wanting to get like a photo like this for a while. It's very brutalist, isn't it? It's like, yeah, I love that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, you just don't really see it that much, and I don't know. Like, there's, n- it's not always that photogenic. No. Um, so, but yeah, like this was just a gem to find. Yeah. Like, I've got a feeling I know what your number one is now as well. Is it from like, similar? The other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <the> one. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, we were at Gatwick today. He was taking photos of the yeah. car park. Yeah, yeah. It had a. It we had went over kind and of you a. You said, oh, "Let me take it first, so I've got them first. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Are you going to respectfully let me take yeah. this first? Um, yeah, the one at Gatwick's kind of similar. It was like a half semicircle, so it should be, should be quite interesting. Like a bit different to these ones. Um, but this one was just stood in the middle. Like so, imagine that's what I was looking up at. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know why. I love that because. I don't know if you can tell that that's what it is. I, I could tell, I mean? yeah. I yeah? could tell, but yeah. It's just... But like you could be looking down at something really white. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind yeah, of... At first glance, I don't think you... I know, I think I knew what it was because I knew mm. the backstory of it. Well, not the backstory, I knew the subject, but... Yeah. 
Yeah, I none think the wiser you, you may you not have known. It, if you see it with the other one, yeah, with that one, yeah, you know, you get more of an idea. But that on its own is like, what is that? Like, yeah, because yeah. it kind of almost looks like a middle of an office block or something. Anyway, um, what's your number one, Mark? Ben in bed. Oh come on! Oh yes, <laughs> yes. It's a sort of trip to. I think Hull, I've got a matching photo. Oh good! You, so is, it, oh, is it on the way? I'm going to need a better look at this yeah, one. Yeah, it'll be on the next roll that I so get. So we're an Airbnb in Lincoln <laughs> on the way to Hull. That's, that zoomed in a bit. Yeah, actually, just see the full photo. It's so funny. And uh, we were just, we were chatting, sweet nothings. Uh, <laughs> Such a vacant look. Well, I, was just, I was just, I was just walked into the room and I was like, "Hang on a sec, Mark. Lay down in your bed and, and just was, look at yeah. my door." That's and really cool. We could, we could literally lay in the beds and just look at each other. <laughs> So I was like, right, you take. Oh, you would. There were like separate bedrooms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> if the doors were open, you could just look at each other. So, um, you were like, I took a photo of you, and you took a photo of me. That's quite a funny. Bit scary in the night, wasn't it? Yeah, right. We did close the doors. Yeah, we did close the doors. I can't believe it's your number one. Such it's a gotta s- be. It's so silly, Mark. <laughs> so silly. So yeah, my number one is this one, which is just the other angle, Unreal. which I think Love explains that. the first one the a bit. Color more. on that's really nice. Mm. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah, mm. I I did do a bit of editing on this. But it pretty much did look like that. I think I just f- sort of made it a bit more flat. Because Katie, when Katie first looked at it, she was like, is it black and white? And I was like, no, no, it's got yeah, colour in it. Subtle, isn't it. Yeah, it's really subtle. It's just got that bit of like green What's that on? in it. I have a fucking no idea. can't remember. It looks like f- cinematic. Yeah, it does. What was it on? When I posted it on Instagram, on my story, I like put them together like that. Oh, nice. And I thought that looked really cool. Yeah, it's a great pair, isn't it? Sick, really isn't it? cool. Like just half and half. That's photos of the month. Oh, so wild. Well. Thank it's you really very much. We've all Thank got a, a photo book. <laughs> yeah, now it's photo books. Of the month. photo book time. I've doubled yeah, up you on go first. all of my stuff because I've got two photo books with well, me. Well, that's all right. Yeah, this is first. the only time you will be on here. So, no, I'm joking. I'm sure we'll have you back. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. We can have repeat guests. We'll see how many views this gets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If this gets loads of views, you're going to have to be on forever. Sorry. This gets 60 likes. We'll have you back on every week. 60,000 views. 60, Smash that views. like button. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that like button. Oh, which one should I do first? Um, you don't have to do first and second for the book. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> my just top. Show, yeah. Just show either one. I actually got this one yesterday, but this is Goldie Timeless Mark Ballroom in New York in 1995. Oh, that's cool. And I, lit- I literally picked it up yesterday in Manchester. Um, but it basically sort of encapsulated all of the stuff that I like to shoot or like yeah. try and shoot but from so the 90s this is literally from like the 90s BMX, yeah, the yeah. one that I had in the last podcast yeah like the same premise um it, it it doesn't say much about what it's shot on yeah um just sort of tells you about like the event who's the photographer um the photographer is Alice Arnold okay um don't really know too much about them but no. they put together an amazing piece of work so yeah, I mean, but that's the. I think that's the best way to find out about some yeah. photographers. Like I did with um, the photo book that I showed last week. I didn't know that photographer until I bought that book. Mm. Um, and now, like, I follow him on Instagram and everything. And he's he shared your so, post. Yeah, he followed me as well. Oh yeah. So is this something that's that really this cool. that is awesome? So cool. Yeah. But um, Goldie's like one of my favorite artists. He's a yeah. jungle producer and DJ, doing it for years. Um, but yeah, this all taken from one night as well, which I thought was really cool. Mm. Oh, I thought it might be, yeah. Yeah, it's li- literally just one event. And is this something that um, has just been released, and he's like been sitting on these photos forever, or do you I'm think not, well, is it like a re-release? I or? guess they have been Posted sitting around somewhere. somewhere yeah. yeah. But there's there's like a series of these Cafe Real books kicking right. about at the moment. Yeah. There's loads of random ones. I've got a few now. Um, I was going to take, bring another one, which was about um, Jamaican sound systems. Mm. It was shot in the 60s um, nice. in Jamaica. Very, very similar style. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's just loads of random little little books. Um, I think Can they're I just know? compiling um, compiling random photographers and putting them in little zines. Oh, oh yeah, you got another one. Oh, the next one, sorry. This is a big one. This is the, the Charlie show, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. This is... Palace by Alistair McClellan, I think is how you uh, uh, say his name. Mm-hmm. This I got this years ago, and this was one of the main influences of me actually getting into photography as well. Yeah, obviously being around skating and stuff like that. So Palace is a skate brand. 
um, and they've got a skate team at the time. Yeah, it's basically loads of photos from Central from London, South, South Bank. Bank. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Don't. It's not all on film. Some of them. Okay. Are, um, what sort of era is yeah, this then? This is 2014, but it, oh, okay. not that so old. Not, yeah, not that old. Around no. around that age. But um, yeah, it's got like random portraits of some of the skaters as well. It's quite cool. I like how it's like bound like. and put together as well. Yeah, like ring binder sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, cool. yeah, really well put together. No, um, oh, the shard there. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that's telling of the time, isn't it? But they do. It does have a it does have an old vibe to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Without that one of the shots. Like, um, I can pass it to you in a sec. They've got a few. Mm -hmm. Like screenshots, there you go, from like VHS tapes, which is really sick. Oh my god, that's amazing! Yeah, because me, uh, me and that one on the right, oh one of my mates so tried cool. tried to get a VHS camera and try to film and stuff. Yeah. We were like obsessed with this sort of stuff at the time. Yeah, yeah. This was before I BMX because I tried to learn to skate. Yeah. I was obsessed with all of like the brands and Supreme yeah, yeah. and Palace and stuff. Uh, got this, and yeah, it's just been with me ever since. So. What's your book, Benjamin? Oh, you want me to go first? There you are. You shut up, my. What should I go stuff first? Now? Um, I'll go first. So my book is called Spots. Spots by Jordan Godwin, who we oh, both is it? we both know. Yeah. So Jordan Godwin is a oh. BMX rider. Oh, right. I'm excited first. to see this. Not, I would, yeah, he's, I'd say he's a BMX rider first. Like photography is sort of something that he's. I think he's done alongside it. A lot of BMXers like they travel a lot, don't they? So yeah. I think like. I've noticed a lot have naturally sort of gone into photography because yeah. they just travel so much. Anyway, I this is such a good idea for a book. I think it's great, and he's just released a second one, which spots I want to get. Spots More two. spots. Yeah, I can't, I can't that, remember what he calls it. Build with photos of spots. Yeah, so Christ. it's literally so a spot mark just to yeah. explain <laughs> it's it. Back, back story is, of a spot. Is like a, a spot that you would do a trick on okay, but yeah. in in uh, in the street so it's not intended for oh, right, riding yeah, yeah, bikes okay cool anyway and this is just a collection of like iphone photos and or whatever he had on him um of spots so mostly like rails he does a lot yeah. of like rail tricks and they're not necessarily you know i i don't know if he just took them for his own like collection so he yeah. knew you know if he didn't if he is, didn't yeah. have his bike he could go back another day and then maybe he just ended up with loads. I'm not really sure like how the story take goes. Them as you go because it like even when I'm sure you do it as well. Oh yeah, swing like around about if you see something that's like oh that looks cool, that's like a cool spot. Yeah, you yeah. Take a photo of it. Exactly. There's no sort of like purpose behind it. It's just yeah, that's what I mean. Like the photos aren't necessarily like I don't know. Like individually, they're not necessarily like creative, creatively taken. Hmm. But as as the collection, it's like incredible. Is yeah. there a chance he might watch this? Maybe. I mean, he um, then he could tell us in the comments. But yeah, like I don't know. I just I just think it's such a cool idea. And on the first page, it has this little page that says, "This is not a guide. There are no locations or coordinates. It's a book of spots for the purist." Nothing is taken on a million pound camera. It's all shot on what's inside your pocket at the time. Um, and yeah, I love that. I think because it's... I think it's a, that's a really cool concept, but it's also kind of frustrating. Yeah, 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 exactly. There's, yeah, there's some that you maybe could figure out where they are, but yeah, but I, I, I do love it for that. Like, it's, yeah, for the purists, isn't it? It's just it's pictures like and spots. It's like a real game of GeoGuessr. yeah. But like you know what it's like as a BMXer when you're out and about and you yeah. see a spot, you're like, oh, that's cool. Sports well, this sports. is like, this is just the whole book. Um, so mine is an American Mile by Kyle McDougall. Oh who yeah, I yeah, Follow on YouTube. You told you just bought this. Haven't you? I, I got it last Thursday. Okay, yeah. I've wanted to get it for ages. Yeah, so I wanted to get this because I firstly I just follow him on YouTube and I watch his videos and I think like his videos first and foremost are really interesting to watch. Yeah, he does a lot about technical stuff as well and he does film and digital um, but this is like he did a 10 month trip across Canada and the US um, and a lot of it sort of abandoned in the west like sort of near LA that kind of thing so like Route 66 kind of uh -huh. stuff uh, and I've watched a lot of like road trip videos on that where people take photos on film Granny Days does a lot yeah he did, he did a Route 66 vibe. trip yeah, that's yeah. like 90 minutes long 
a video. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I just love the the architecture of it because it's so different to like what you see in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's sort of stuck in a time of like the 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then some of it, like you can't even tell if it is abandoned or if it's just like there's no one in the photo. But there's no people in it. Right. It's just like the buildings. That's um, so cool. I like the colour palette across all yeah. of them is very um, consistent. Yeah. So I was looking for it earlier because it's the first opportunity I got to actually look for it. Um, but yeah, there's a few early on where it's like, oh, I don't know if that's, is that still functioning like next to that or? Right, yeah. Um, like an empty sign yeah. there. And there's a few where it's like, yeah, you're not sure. But yeah, have a look for it. But yeah, 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 well, that's a really nice book as well, isn't it? Nice cover. I will put the link yeah. below so that people, if people do want to buy it, they can buy it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of want... To, oh, what is that? Oh, That's man. amazing. Was oh, that no way. Those TVs <laughs> or something? Yeah, but it's got, like, stuff written on them. Oh, some, no. uh, And then there's, like, a camper van. It's obviously, like, some... Some of them hippie camps. Yeah, yeah. I think so. That must be quite new because it says fake news. Yeah, and it's all... This is all, like, f- fresh paint, it looks like. Mm. Cool. Yeah, so I think that's it. Do you want to wrap it up? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share and comment if you're able. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and, f- and follow Charlie on uh, Oh, yeah, social. definitely follow Charlie as well. Thank you very much. And and, and, all, and all the people's photo books we look oh, at yeah, as well. Oh, we'll yeah, yes. we'll put all links in the yeah, yeah, description we'll, yeah. for everything. Yeah, of course. Cool. Amazing. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Oh. And then we'll have a little like, keep waving, keep waving, keep waving. That's like at the end of a game show when they tell them when they tell them to keep going. Oh, amazing.